Hi everybody, I'm Carl and welcome back to NAC 3D Designs. Excuse the mess, but things have been really crazy with doing all the testing on the CR30, trying different belts, different configurations, what filaments it can print, and even some new slicers now. So, uh, bear with me. Wanted to get this video released though before everybody gets their printers. Today I'm gonna cover how to adjust your Y axis end stop, your hard stops, and how to level your belt and set your negative offset for printing. So let's get started. All right, so the first step in leveling our bed and aligning our Y axis for printing and setting our negative offset, we're gonna go ahead and bring our Y axis all the way down so the nozzle touches the bed. And so it doesn't move on us. If you've got a clamp, I recommend just putting a clamp above it so it can't move up on us. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna loosen these four screws here on your Y axis end stop. These will allow us to move it up or down. And then you've got this screw right here at the bottom. You wanna back it off until it starts actually coming out like you see this one doing right now. You basically wanna run it as, it, see as, you, as you tighten it. The end stop moves down as you loosen it. The end stop goes up. I prefer to have this all the way at the top of, of its range, all the way up here. That way we're gonna home this thing as far away from the belt as possible to prevent the nozzle from getting too close and possibly melting or damaging the belt. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna loosen these two screws right here. Then we're gonna take the 0.2 millimeter shim they sent with the printer. We're gonna move this up till it holds that shim in place. tighten these two screws back up. This is basically setting a physical stop so you can't bury the belt or the nozzle into the belt and cause damage. And that looks like I may actually want to loosen that back up and adjust it down just a little bit more. It did settle a bit more for me there. And then we're gonna do the same thing over here on this side. Loosen these two screws. Take our gap gauge, well, once it'll move. and lock our physical stops in place. Now we can go ahead and remove this clamp. And now we're ready to go ahead and apply power and we'll do the next step. All right, so now that you've got your printer powered up, we're gonna go ahead and home it. So we'll go to motion, auto home, Now the next thing we wanna do is we wanna make sure our bed is all the way down. So you'll loosen these two knobs here and you will turn these top knobs clockwise and crank it all the way down till the bed is grounded out. Now the next thing we will do is we will go into motion. We're gonna move axis, move Y, Move it 0.1 millimeter increments, and we're gonna place our shim underneath the nozzle, and we're gonna run it negative until the nozzle touches the shim. 
Now, the distance may be different on yours. Keep in mind, my printer is a early prototype. Careful you don't lose your shim down the edge here. That's just touching. Now we'll exit out of the Y axis. We're going to go to the X axis and we're going to move to the middle of the bed. Depending on your firmware release, that may be 100 or 110 millimeters, depending on how they release it. They did advertise 200 for a width. It does have the capability of going to 220. We're still not touching. That's good. We don't want the nozzle to ground out halfway across, depending on your printer. It could get tighter as you go. Now the next thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and bring this side up until we're snug now. Now if this side was high, obviously you would readjust the Y axis up till this side touch point two and we would raise this side up to match. I've got that to where it's nice and snug underneath. Holding my top knob, I'm going to go ahead and tighten this bottom one. Still pretty good. Take it back to the middle. Nice and snug. Take it back to zero. And it is still snug. So now we will go ahead and exit out. All the way back to the main screen. And we see that X is still zero, Y is rounded to negative five and Z is zero. So now we'll go back to motion, move axis, move Y, go back to 0.1. Now, right now it is 0.2 millimeters above. Well, we wanted it zero. So you would think you go down 0.2. In my experience, it seems like it works best if you go down 0.3, exit out. Back to the main menu, go to configuration advanced settings and set home offsets once you've done that go back in go to configuration store settings now you've set your home offset and you are ready to start printing all right so now you're going to want to do this procedure anytime you change out the belt anytime you adjust the tension on the belt because adjusting the tension is going to make that belt just a little bit thicker or a little bit thinner um, once you start printing, if you're not getting good bed adhesion, you can also go in and adjust your Y axis with baby stepping now. So you can dial that down a little bit more. And once you get a good height for printing, you can go ahead and readjust your Y home offset after you've got found that sweet spot. But, uh, that pretty much covers the procedure for today. If you like what I'm doing here, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for updates. If you want to help support the channel, there are several links in the description below. Thank you for tuning in and we'll see you soon.